All right, guys, I just woke up, and I can't think of any uh, better ways to start my day than playing a Dwarf Mirror match here in Blood Bowl. So this is actually week one of our Haggard League that we run in our Discord. So uh, I'm playing the Dwarves. My team name is Never Trust an Elf, and we're facing off against the Grudge Keeper. So I was, I was super bummed when we got a Dwarf and Mirror match. But uh, but yeah, it should be fun, man. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see how this goes. So we have a little bit of petty cash to spend, as well as some actual uh, gold here, which we're just going to kind of keep. I was saving up for, uh, I want to get the death roller eventually, so I saved a little bit of money just to get that quicker, but yeah, man, let's go have this Dwarven Mirror Match, and you know, if you guys thought Dwarf Mirror Matches and Vampire Count Mirror Matches were miserable in Total War, in Blood Bowl, it's like a whole nother thing, um, so it looks like he's gonna, okay, I'm on the defense, so yeah, I mean, this is pretty straightforward, <laughs> all right, so let's, uh, I think I have four linemen, do I have any extra players on this team? I do, I have, um, I have a they're all just various dwarf names. I have I have Gimli. I have you know Thibbledorf Quent, uh, Quent. I think is his name from um, from the Dragonland series. Uh, let's go back here and support like so. And the reason why I went dwarves in this league is because not only dwarves are just super awesome, but on top of that, um, they are uh, very very hard to hurt. They have thick skulls, so even if you're kind of getting you know knocked down a lot, your players don't get injured. Um, very easily we're going to keep a runner here and a blitzer here i could have sworn i had two blitzers yeah the other blitzer should be kind of in the center here and we'll keep this guy out on the outside and Bruno our battle hammer will be here and that's going to be kind of our formation i could stack the line even heavier which might not be a bad idea and dwarves just have like block and tackle there's they have so many good things i always like to keep the slayers as well like on the outside of the formation so you just kind of park them on the outside and use them to surf because they have frenzy if i'm not mistaken unless they change that yeah, so they get to attack twice. So you can, like, knock people out of bounds if they play the sidelines a little bit too heavily. Um, so Blitzers. I mean, I could stack the line a little bit more to make it harder for him to get two dice, which I don't hate that idea. Um, I don't hate it. The runner is obviously a little bit vulnerable out here. So let's do this. Keep you in the center. And um, I don't know if, like, stacking the line is the way to do it. Like, I really don't with Dwarves. Yeah, you know what? I think this is fine. Let's move you up a little bit, and uh, we'll try it out. I haven't played Dwarves in a long, long time, but uh, yeah, let's see how this unfolds here. So, end of turn. Okay, trying to do that. Looks like my opponent must still be... Oh, one player must be present. 11 players must be present in the pitch? Do I have too many players on the pitch? Um, okay, maybe I do. I think I had too many players. I think I had my extra player on. Yeah. All right, well, <laughs> worked out okay in the end. I was like, what's going on here? I remember that. I actually played um, American football back in the day. I played for a long time. And that was, like, something you would actually see pretty often. Like, teams would accidentally send, like, you know, especially in, like, the more haggard leagues I was in. Um, I went to a pretty small school, so it's not like we were playing, like, the Terminators that you would see in Los Angeles. And um, you would, like, often see teams send on, like, one too many players. Yeah, pretty funny. So he's going to get some two-on-ones on the side, try and take down Thoric Ironbrow here, but we have Unger Ironfist waiting. So I'm hoping he like takes this angle and then I can serve him out of bounds. That would be the ultimate play. you got to be really careful about playing the sidelines against Dwarfs. And uh, I only have one reroll. He actually has two. So he must have like one less, like, like less Blitzers than me or something. The fact that he's able to get that, I'm not sure. Or I think I bought an extra player. Yeah, see, he doesn't have the extra player I do. So that's, um, that's where that changes. Dwarves are pretty good ball carriers. They have the sure hands. Okay, and uh, the opposing opposition is moving D3 players to open squares. That's, that worked out pretty well for him. He got uh, the kickoff event where he got to uh, move up and, you know, start basing me and whatnot. So he gets a base right there on the side, and I really, really hope he, he comes around here and, like, blitzes, and I can try and surf him out of bounds. We are going to get some two dice here, though. Um, Grom for the blood. <laughs> I think he just went with the generic names. I'm not sure. Like, Grom, blood for... Oh, no, maybe not. Uh, there's a couple of those guys that have, like, the same thing. I don't know if he did that on purpose. But, um, yeah, opposition is doing it. He gets to move, basically, a bunch of free players. It's like a, it's like a pre-turn move. Okay. So, he, he, he missed the ball, which is fine. He'll get a chance to pick it up right now. So, <laughs> let the, let the bad dice flow through you. This guy's a little bit vulnerable to being surfed. Like, this Slayer could blitz and knock him, but it would only get him over here, worst case. Okay, so he goes there. He gets the two die, but just gets a push, which is fine. This, this is Thoric. Thoric has um he has he has block, and I think Blitzers are a little bit faster. Yeah, they have um. So what I could do is actually come here next turn, move High King Thorgrim over here on top of a uh, Torin, and then I could uh, knock him this way and then blitz him potentially out of bounds. Although it could push me into some red dice, so you got to be careful about that. Is that? What the hell is this? 
Oh my god, that guy's just asking to get surfed. So we take Thibble Dwarf. We line up here and get two two dice and knock this guy out of bounds. And he doesn't have extra players, guys. So if I can get him out of bounds, it's pretty big. Now, most Dwarven games that I've seen uh, end up in a uh, tie. Usually it's pretty hard for the Dwarves to score unless one player makes some mistakes, which I'll make, I'm sure. Um, I'm very capable of it. We got Chuck Norris. There's a couple non-Dwarf names. We have Frank Reynolds as well from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. But, um, you know, we got some names. Okay, Slayers. Oh, he's bringing Slayers up in the main line. Slayers are AV9. Um, but yeah, looks like he's going to try and get some dice here. Yeah, he's really, really looking to fight on the main line here. And if he fails his pickup, I'm going to be able to potentially um, get to it with one of these two characters. We'll have to see. But yeah, no, this is the play. Surfing this guy and just kind of like, you know, taking advantage of the fact that he doesn't have an extra player. Um, we haven't seen a blitz move yet. Looks like there's a dwarf coming from the from the top to... That's a good idea. In case he fails to pick up, like there's a chance the ball would go into this guy's hands. Uh, or he has like more support nearby in case I make a play for it. Yeah, the fact that I only have one reroll is a little bit nerve-wracking. Okay, he goes for the one dying. It's pal. Very nice. But yeah, dwarves have the thick skull. So basically, um, when they get injured, it's just uh, the odds. I think on... Yeah, you can read the tooltip here. Oh, God, please, no. Okay, it's just an armor break. So he breaks the armor, and he got an 8. So would that have been affected? On an 8, he's stunned instead of KO'd, see? So any other team would have been potentially KO'd right there. So that's... Um, okay, he makes the pickup. Let's see what kind of wheels he's got. Dwarves usually just form a box and like slow push. Um, he definitely has a box opportunity on the side here. So now he's in his overtime. Um, he's used up his entire turn, so it's gotten to his overtime in the top. And you can see how that all unfolds here. So yeah, we definitely go for a surfing action. This is just, and I would even use potentially a reroll to get that. Oh, he's going, is he going that way? Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's why I was going to go that way anyway, so. Um, interestingly enough, that's risky taking those one die. If you got a skull, that's just like, if you got a skull there, he, he loses the ball. But it worked out well for him. He actually ended up uh, getting me down here. So I do have my two characters. I have the steel chair and, oh, that's his actually. That's his guy, okay. So yeah, Gotrek I think is gonna surf this guy. Try and push him out of bounds. <laughs> Never trust an elf. So first thing you usually wanna do is just stand up your players. Uh, make sure, God, it's so hard to tell who's who. The teams look so similar, but we have a couple opportunities. I think we have a two die right here. No, do we? No, it's his guy, okay. Dude, this is just pure misery. I'm sorry, guys. My guys have the circles around them. At least we know that. Okay, so that guy just stood up. Um, we could try and knock this guy down with a two die here. Um, the Slayer Blitz is for sure something we want to set up. So High King, want to move over there. Um, let's get you here. Obstruct this guy, and then we surf him out of bounds. Which honestly seems like a really strong play. It also cuts off the sideline. Uh, it does take away the Blitz opportunity, because, but it would only be a one-die Blitz most likely. So I think this is the, uh, the play, 100%. So we go for this. And we just need to get two pushes. Um, so we push him here. <laughs> I love the haggard like uppercut they do. Yeah. Oh yeah, out of bounds you go, baby. <laughs> All right, so that's one less player. And uh, now we need to um, get away from the sidelines ourselves. So now he's gonna be hurting a little bit in terms of numbers. So we try and knock this guy down and then uh, that will allow, uh, if we can get him down on the ground, we can then get um, Brunor Battlehammer to go after him. So is there any other movements I wanna do in case this fails? Um, he could do like a reverse sweep on the other side. Look, look at Grombrindle. He's that's the coaches. We both have the Grumbrindle as our coach, which is great. We got a one die there. Okay. Two die here. Uh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this one. This looks fine. Okay, um he, we both have block. We can push and uh we can follow. Yeah, that's one of my guys, so we just gotta keep him based here. And then we can actually run around. If I'm not mistaken. It is a rush. That'll be our last play of the turn that we do. So now as far as other fights go, is there any like yeah, we have this. But that's not really urgent. We'll keep our Troll Slayer. Um, the Troll Slayers are really good blitzers. You typically want to save them for that. And I'm going to keep this guy like a little bit more inset like this. And like this. In case he... It gives me like he can still get to the side of the battlefield. Um, I'm pretty well stacked here. These are just one die. Um, I could get a two die on this guy. But I'd rather keep the High King Thorgrim kind of flexible. Yeah, those are not... Usually, one dies, especially if you only have one team reroll, because we're very early in the season. Um, I could come over here and potentially get a two die on this guy and knock him back, but it's really... Um, yeah, really not that strong. So let's go ahead and just, like, do this and this. 
Just keep tabs here. And uh, we don't need to take any risky die at this point. Just kind of, you know, take our beatings as we can. Like, later on, I would... I, although he could... You know what? He's actually looking like he could... This side seems, like, amply covered. So let's, like, just prepare for the sweep this way. Dwarves are pretty slow, though. I have to be careful about, like, just throwing them in open field like this. Yeah, we're, we're ready. But, yeah, getting one player out of bounds. Um, was it a blitzer? It was a blitzer, too, which is nice. So the blitzers have five movement. Uh, most dwarves have... Uh, the, faster, the fastest ones are the runners. Dude, it is so hard to tell who's who, man. This is rough. Like, our color schemes are even kind of similar. He's, like, white and red, and I'm, like, a beige and white, so it's, like, very, very tricky. Okay, he takes two die. Looks good. We have Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris got stunned before, but he does get the Slayer and uh, does not break the armor. Dwarves, of course, have super high armor values. Have to see where that guy's going to go. Looks like he moves up. Yeah, he's going to pull a reverse sweep, so it's a good thing I kept my character's double dice, uh, double power right there. Very nice. He's going to come around the top, so I'm going to have to, like, sweep down and under here, which is fine. Because uh, Chuck Norris is here, Chuck Norris will stand up. He could do a handoff action, like hand off to um, Urkin here, and then um, come down and under. The, but I could, thankfully, I kept High King Thorgrim as well as Unger Iron Fist here, and it looks like he's he's farming a bit of a box. Yeah, he's gonna sweep down the side. And uh, yeah, my dwarves will have to run, They'll have to hustle. Okay, another knockdown there, not good. Hopefully, Chuck Norris can get up here. Okay, so he gets the punch. Yeah, dwarves take a while to score, so we'll have some time to work with. And he bases that character as well. So hopefully we're going to be able to... Yeah, we're very overloaded on this side. We need we need to hope he fails his handoff action, which would be a 3-plus with reroll. So he's pretty likely to do it. Sure hands, I think, is uh, reroll uh, a pickup test. Yeah, it's a pickup test. Okay, so here comes the handoff action. He's going to be heading to the other side. And then he'll be darting down the sideline here. And he fails it, so reroll's coming. And we got rid of one reroll, so now he's going to go down this way. This is actually kind of rough. He might be able to score pretty quickly here. Nice little reverse sweep. Should have seen that coming. Although, a lot of my characters got knocked down here. Um, Chuck Norris could dodge out and and actually uh, touch him here if he just decides to go there. Yeah, he's not going to do it going for it, which is smart. Um, Thoric Ironbrow also has an opportunity to dodge out and get him. So, uh, Can he score next turn? I don't think he can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's about as far as he could get. Okay, because you have the two going forwards. So this is, our decisions are pretty easy here. Um, we just sprint across, and um, with you, we can go ahead and come down here, get some two dice on the Slayer. Yep, looks good. Because we he's pretty committed now, right? Dwarf's dodging, it would be a four up, I think, to dodge and base that guy. So, um, yeah, like Thoric would be, uh, oh, it's only a three plus dodge, actually. Or is that, is, uh, why is that two red die? Oh, it's because it's still, it's still including the, um, yeah, so that would get us the one die that we're looking for. Cool. Okay. Um, who do we want to blitz with? If we go here, here, and here. That seems to be the better option. All right. So for now, um, let's get our Slayer. We could do this and try and knock that dwarf out of bounds. But I feel like at this point, yeah, we got to we gotta be a little bit cautious here. The one die here isn't bad. Because um, we, we could do a one die on the Slayer a blitz and if we can get this guy knocked down which is pretty hard i think the dodge play is, is our best bet to be completely honest okay so that side he's probably not going to want to play that way so let's just kind of keep hustling um do i want to do any going for it yeah i need to get these players up but i need to decide how i want to do this a three plus dodge is not easy so it's a, yeah why is he why is he worse yeah it's a four plus dodge and then this guy is a is a three plus dodge. Yeah, this guy's our, our blitzer, so he's a little bit more agile. That makes sense. All right, let's just stand you up. And uh, the Slayer, we know where the blitz needs to be done. I I want I could surf this guy. I could knock him over and then surf him out, but I think we need to just sweep over to the other side and see if we can uh, close some of that distance. So taking a two die here, it's pretty safe with dwarves to just take two die, typically. Okay, let's just stay put. And uh, the reason why we're staying put is so he can then run downfield next turn. Because this, um, this is High King Thorgrim. He's pretty quick. He can he can probably catch the Blitzer on the sideline if my opponent makes a run for it. And uh, let's get you heading down this way. We're now in our overtime. Okay. Um, now this is the time of heroes. So we need to make this. It's a three and a two to get a one die. Not the worst dice in the world with the reroll. I think it's worth doing. Okay, let's do the reroll. Ooh, that's not good. We, we actually failed twice. Ouch, ouch, ouch. 
And did he get stunned? Nah, he's still there. So my opponent could make a mad dash for it. I do have a couple of players who can reach the sideline here, though. Um, so at the very least, we'll get one attempt. But yeah, that, that's really unlucky, the uh, the two failed uh, rolls there. Yeah, we got a 2 and 2 I think. Damn shame, Jimmy. Damn shame. All right, so let's see what my opponent's got. Um, he's got one reroll left. He's going to hustle down the sideline. It's kind of a curious thing, because does he want to give me the ball this quickly also? We didn't injure his dwarf. We only surfed him, so he'll be back. <laughs> he'll be back. And, uh, yeah, interesting. The double runner with the handoffs. That's kind of cool. I only went with one runner. I went with more of a box style of play, which we'll see how it works out for us when we get ball possession. I should have done one GFI with this guy, Gotrek, because he can't quite reach everywhere right now. Thankfully, this dwarf um, can can basically base him regardless of where he is, but I don't have any rerolls anymore, so very shady in the early season. But, I, you know, I just I like having that extra player. It's really nice. When you get, like, an unfortunate KO that doesn't wake up in, like, the second half, having a full team is just uh, a world of difference. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. Okay. I don't think he's going to be able to base my uh, Thibble Dwarf here. And also, I do have a dodging opportunity, but um, yeah, we just need to base him. Dwarves are pretty bad at dodging in general. I mean, a 3-up isn't terrible. It's like the Dwarven Runners are kind of like humans in that way. So he does that, gets uh, a push. Is that his Blitz? Oh no, that was just a, that was just a standard one there. Okay. Yeah, he, he wants to keep the Chuck Norris base there, which is smart. Frank Reynolds is also nearby. And I believe that's his Slayer. Yeah, it is. Okay. I wonder, yeah, if I'm him, I just make a mad dash for it, I think. Although Thoric, Thoric is going to be able to blitz, like, a pretty serious range. So, yeah, you, you could just do, like, as far as possible and just take the one-on-one -on -one with Thibbledorf, which is probably what you do. Especially since I don't have rerolls, my odds of getting him down are very low. He's taking a lot of risky one dice. Like, getting a skull on that just means that I get him, you know? But it worked out. Yeah, it looks like he got, he got Ungram down. Oh, look at the MLG plays right there. So I'm going to have to make a dodge now. So he should be able to get out of range, but if he makes a GFI, um, I he might just go down. So I don't know if he's going to do it. We'll have to see. Okay, what's he got, man? What has he got? Is he going to score? He's going for it. Is he going to... Yeah, he's not going to make the GFI. He's going to make me do the going for it. I could just base him, too. That's probably the smart play. Just make him make a dodge roll. Although he has a reroll, so... Um, yeah, I think basing him and then dodging and blitzing is, is the play to get a two-die there, which is very possible to get him. If I were him, man, this is stressful, because, like, if he does it going for it, it puts me out of range, but it's basically my two-plus against his two-plus. Oh, let's see what he's got. Is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? Oh, my God. The miserable dwarf and grind. <laughs> just look at this morass of dwarves here, dude. Just, like, pure misery. Just, uh, <laughs> they've wronged us. <laughs> All right, so these are Chuck Norris and Bomber here. Should I just start becoming the Dark Lord of the One Die? Oh, shit, there's actually no one basing me here? Wait, why is there a dodge roll here? Oh, okay, that's his guy, okay. All right, so High King Thorgrim can do this, and then we could do, yeah, but that's still so many. Um, okay, so we got one dies here. We have one die, one die of the gods. Um, we have Brunor Battlehammer, who can... We could Blitz here, actually. And then that frees up Thorgrim to base him. So we would be forcing him into, like, a dodging situation. That might be safer than, like, this. That's a one die, which would be a two die. All I have to do is make a, a, a going for it. I think, like, taking him down is more important, to be honest. And this is our guy, Hiking Thorgrim, here. So we actually have a free bait. Oh, we have a free blitz on him right now. Oh shit, I didn't even notice that. Okay. So it is a one die blitz. That's that would be okay. So let's just stand you up. There you go. So I can base him and force him into a three up situation, which is good. But I think getting a two die on him is better. So we take Thoric Ironbrow and we move up. And then we just move in, and if I if I get a one here, I just deserve it. Man, it, but that two die is so much more likely to take him down. I think I just gotta hope I don't roll a one. Which, you guys ready for some classic Blood Bowl? Oh, God. The stress is real, dude. Okay, so let's uh, blitz him here. Oh, did I take the under blitz? I did. Okay, well, at least I made it. Okay, no problem. Better than nothing. 
Um, follow up? Yeah, of course. So now he's got to make a couple dodges, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, I think we dodge under. Let's look for any other two dice we have. I don't think we have any here. We have one here, so let's do a little bit of bashing. Hey, look at that. We'll take it. All right, and stay put. Let's take Gimli, son of Gloin. And uh, Gimli can head, head down here. Give us a two die on this guy. And uh, the last thing, so he just has to make a dodge to score, basically. Um, unless what I do, which I'm gonna do, is just dodge and go down here. And that would be um, that would be one of our best bets. So there's an opportunity for some double skulls action. We'd have to get double skull. Which, yeah, the pow is, the pow is there. I love the Slayer's haggard like arm swing. The animation is hilarious. Alright, so this is like all that matters, really. Okay, that's good. And uh, now, now if he tries, he's gonna have to dodge us multiple times. He could do like, he could do a handoff to this guy. Um, we have a two die here. Frank Reynolds can also two die this Slayer. So let's see if we can just get him down. Yeah, perfect. And uh, let's stay put. Oh, hell yeah, we go. An injury? No, just a, dwarves are very, very tough to take down. So, and then we ba we need to just base this dwarf because that would be his handoff play, right? Scary stuff, but we are on him. We have him, you know, pretty well locked down, and he doesn't have any support nearby. He's also missing a player, has a couple of dudes down. His best bet maybe is dodge up and around and, like, reform a box somewhere? I'm not sure. He does have one reroll, so a three-plus dodge, yeah. It's pretty pretty darn doable. Unfortunately, I didn't get the knockdown here. Okay, he's, he rushes. That's risky, too, yeah. He's going to probably try and blitz his way out. That's still only going to be a one die because I have an assist here. You're going to try and dodge? No, I think he's just going to stand everybody up. We've got to get his other dwarf character as well. We have a good opportunity to get him down potentially. Um, we have Ungram Iron Fist with the Blitz over the top, so we can maybe knock him out of bounds. I'm really, really quite happy I didn't get Blood Bolt last turn. I thought it was going to happen. Okay. So he gets a nice little pow right there. No injury. That's also the rough part about Dwarf vs. Dwarf, is like you, there not a lot happens in terms of scoring and actually injuring things, so you don't get much SPP. So you don't get like a lot of progress. Oh. That can be risky. Sometimes you can screw yourself with the Frenzy if you're not careful. Dude, I love playing the Dwarves in this game though. I like, I forgot just how solid they are. Like this, the Troll Sayers are super good. Having block on everything is just so nice. Okay, what's it gonna be? Satisfy the Grudge. This is like the, the hard choice for him. He could blitz through. He could like blitz, knock, try and knock this guy down, and just make a three plus and like run through. That's a lot of one dies though to make and dodges. I don't like that he's like sitting on one reroll though. It's it's definitely giving me a little bit of anxiety. But yeah, Ungram would come over the top here and we would try and um, just knock him out of bounds here. Yeah, I think that'd be the play. Yeah, we could totally surf this guy. He's got 12 seconds left, but then it goes into overtime. Is that Blitz? Oh wow, he's blitzing there. Holy shit! Okay, he gets he gets the dude a lot of one die this game. He's been making those pretty well. But dwarves is, with dwarves one dies aren't like the worst thing in the world, because the fact that you have block means the only thing that's bad is a skull. Like everything else is. Oh my god, is he gonna pass for real? That would be pretty chat if he actually succeeds on a pass play. The passing it, it, with interference, he he'd need, he would need like a five and a five, so the odds are actually pretty low. But I suppose it's better than just getting bashed in this box here and not doing anything. Like, the ball might fly somewhere else and maybe he can pick it up. I like that from him. Although it's risky, he might get surfed here. Gimli is going to punch this guy, and then I'm going to surf this guy out of bounds with my Slayer. Um, oh, man, he makes the dodge. And then, okay, he fails. He needs a 5+. plus. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ball's on the ground. I, that's, that's, a, you know, that's an intense play there. So we got, um, he's here. We have Ungram. So now we need to, and I think these are all his dudes. Yeah, they are. So we need to just base the ball as much as possible here. We could try and knock it out. Um, I really, really, really like the idea of surfing this guy with Thibble Dwarf. But we need to, we need to get on the ball. I think we just get on the ball and bash and surf him and take advantage of our numerical number, like advantage over him. And uh, yeah, and just kind of roll that way. Because picking up the ball here is, is going to be... Um, I mean, I actually might have time to score. Where's my runner? Yeah, he's right here. Hmm. 
So I could take the two die here, but firstly, let's get Brunor Battle Hammer up. God damn it, look how slow he is. <laughs> All right, old Brunor. We're not going to take any risky dice. Um, as far as surfing goes, could come here and surf him out, but I do like the idea of like getting his runner, his sure hands away from the ball. So maybe we do this. Yeah, I like that. The Surf is really tempting. We might just base him over there, honestly. So we can grab High King Thorgrim and um, and do this. Do we get a 2-die on this guy now? I think we do. No, it's still a 1-die. Shouldn't it be a 2-die since we have the other guy marked up? Gimli, son of Gloin, will um, make a push. But yeah, let's just do this for later. So we're going to butter that bread for later. So he's marked in case things get crazy and I can just take a push on him the next turn. You know, I would take a 1-die there. I think it's worth it in that situation. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and, although if we do the Slayer, we get two attempts at it, because we'll get two two die. Yeah, so the odds of getting him down are good and also gets us in the ball. Um, all right, let's just push and follow up. I don't want to knock the ball, because like it could go somewhere where he can just scurry and grab it. Okay. Um, now we can go ahead and do we want to blitz? How do we want to blitz this? Yeah, I do want to try and get his runner. Yeah, and we push him into the shadows over here. Okay, so Gimli gets on the ball. Which is fine. And then we can, you know, we could even just blitz this guy off. Although the sure hands really needs to... He's gonna have a problem. Yeah, if we can blitz this guy off, it will put us into a one die though in the second hit. Whereas here, we'll have a couple opportunities. I do like this more. Is there any other plays in the field? I'm trying to be cautious. I know I'm digging into my overtime a little bit, but. Yeah, powing the runner down is, is definitely the play. Well, especially if we like stun him or something. Okay, is this going for it? If we wanna go one more move and get like a full dread box around it, it is. Um. It's probably worth doing. He's down a player, we got a stun on him. Yeah, worth. All right, so now we have a box around the ball and we could play the classic Dwarven like Helm's Deep style where we just like, we know we're getting the ball next half, right? I'm still gonna try and grab it with Thibble Dwarf. I don't have a reroll though. So I, I definitely wanna like try and punish him a little bit more. Like push these guys out of bounds. The dreaded Dwarves hold, dude. We hold firm. Yeah, he's not gonna let the surfing happen again. Okay, so he gets doesn't get a pow there. He's got a lot of dudes there. Is he going to follow up? Eh, probably looks like he is. Cool. So now we're in a good... He, he frees up his Slayer. So what he's going to do is probably blitz one of my guys and, um, and try and knock the ball loose, which isn't a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all, but it could just go right into the hands of one of my dudes. I have a lot more guys around the ball, so statistically it should favor me, but, you know, those are like famous last words in Blood Bowl. He's got a Slayer here, so yeah, there's gonna be some funny business, and uh, Brunor Battlehammer's nearby. Okay, so he's basing, getting in contact. I just need to grab it with Thibble Dwarf here. And he does get the knockdown, and the ball's gonna get, he's gonna knock me into the ball, 100%. Uh-oh, please. Okay. Yeah, with Dwarves again, it's, it's, oh! <laughs> Ungrim, yeah, baby! Ungrim Iron Fist with the catch! Dude, you know Ungram's gonna use the pump those dwarven legs and just get downfield for the next few turns. He's just he's just gonna go for it because he doesn't have a blitz now. So, oh man, that's pretty funny. That's the risk of that for sure. It's the blood. <laughs> I did not get blood bolt there. He he got blood bolt. All right, and then next turn we surf this guy too, if possible. Just like move down here with Brunor. Although I might need Brunor to base some of these troll slayers. He's got two troll slayers here, so if I could just base both of them, it'd be pretty sweet. Um. Yeah, like, it's pretty clean, like, downfield run, actually. If I can just get rid of this character here. So what i probably do is blitz him with this Slayer. Like, go here and blitz him this way and try and knock him down and then run up field and just hope that the Chad Slayer is able to pump those Dwarven legs hard enough. Okay, what's it going to be? Wow, he takes the one die. Yeah, I guess at that point you might as well. Otherwise, you're going to get surfed out of bounds, right? So we'll just let those guys hang out. Enjoy each other's company for a while. And uh, yeah, now we just blitz. Downfield, we stand up any of the injured players. Dude, the risky one dies. Jeez. Okay, well, that's fine. Thoric will just base him again. Yeah, because he can't blitz or anything. So we'll just... Oh, that might actually help us. Although, no, we're, we'll just base him again. 
I think we have one more player, so we'll just we'll just kind of keep uh, trying to utilize that advantage. Wow, risky, risky one die, dude. Jeez. Okay. Interesting. He opted not to um, not to follow up, getting a base on my Slayer. Which means I'm kind of free to go now, to an extent. So Thoric, Ironbrow. Yeah, we pull Thoric. Okay, oh wow, the dodge, are you serious? Holy shit, he's getting, oh, he did use his other reroll though, so. Yeah, now he's, he's, he's on us pretty well now. He's got his nice and based. So we gotta be careful about this one. Cause I am, uh, I just, I just gotta not relinquish the ball if possible. Okay, so we got Brunor Battle Hammer here. I could do a handoff to the runner. Wow, the one die. He finally got punished for that. Okay, so that's eh, fine. It's gonna it's gonna give us a, a little bit more action here. So who do we have up top? We got two. Um, homeboy can go over the top here, and we can start bashing a little bit. Is there any like reverse sweep? No, he's got too many troll slayers. Just angry. This sideline. Although he's got a lot of guys here. If we want to score, we just have to like blitz, but scoring is, is uh, definitely a tall order here. Um, pun not intended. Uh, all right, so he's got his guy. Um, we got Thibble Dwarf. Thibble Dwarf can get a one dice. He can come over, provide an assist. We could surf this guy out, which I don't hate that idea. So let's see here. Can we get some dice here? We can. We can get a two die there. Okay, that's pretty nice. I think uh, scoring is is two. Yeah. How many turns do we have? So we have we'd have three turns. So I mean, I would have to make like a mad dash like right now, to to be able to score. And doing a Slayer push into these guys would um essentially be turn me turn it into a one die. Although Chuck Norris is here, so maybe Chuck Norris can blitz in and free this up. Yeah. Okay, that sucks. A little bit. Um, let's go ahead and get you right here, just to base these guys up. All right, um, looking fine. And then we come in here and blitz. It is a, a bit of an ugly rush. That would be a one die, which if I could get lucky and knock him down. Well, let's just take take some two dies. We're relatively secure at this point. Um, I could surf this guy out of bounds. Yeah, so, hmm. Man, I, I gotta I gotta display it smart, I feel. Let's just go here. Cause in case things fail, I, I wanna make sure I have assists and folks near the ball to to you know, to protect it. So we're gonna I could the surfing is really tempting, but I, I need to make sure I'm I'm secret and safe here. Alright. Do this. Get the knockdown. Nice. Follow up. Oh look at that. Are we gonna get an injury? That'd be crazy. You'd have to you literally have to roll like elevens or twelves. Yeah, so we got a ten and then a, a three, so wasn't that much. So now we got Frank Reynolds, um, who can come over and assist. Frank Reynolds, at the very least, can assist here. Assist. So it's marked. And then we can also hit this guy. So that could be an interesting one. So we come on top. We mark this guy. That would be the better place to mark it. Yeah, and then he, but he still has, that's my Thoric. So yeah, it would leave me an opening here, depending on the circumstances. All right. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go like so, I guess. Yeah, and then we would dart out through that side pocket. Okay, blitz activation. Let's see what kind of dice we have right now. Yeah, we're still working on a one die. Um, that's his Slayer. We have some one dice here. The double, the skull, the skull would be really punishing. But you know, fortune favors the bold man. Let's let's play some blood bowl. Let's let's just get mad. Let's let the hate flow through us. Hey, look at that! Nuffle rewards us for our uh, for our stuff. Although, oh, that's right, the slayer can't stay put. Okay, so this actually ends up screwing us a little bit. We just get like closer to him. I forgot that slayers can't stay put. They always have to like chase that. Yeah, so he's just kind of stuck there now. Unfortunately, and uh, we're in a position to maybe get bashed here. Uh, let's just take some haggard one die. Yeah, why the hell not, man? <laughs> why the hell not? All right, so let's just knock you back to the sideline here. Okay, so yeah, I, I forgot Slayers with their frenzy. So I wanted to like run out this way. I mean, we'll see what happens. Gotrek's nearby. Um, Gotrek can get a one die here. The one die here isn't terrible because it'll push him into a two die. Let's try it. Screw it, man. Let's have some fun. 
Hey, let's follow up. I think it'll push him into too high. Oh, he'll still have the assist here. There we go. Worked out well. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, Gotrek Gurnison, baby. Yeah. All right. We'll take it. Hell yeah, dude. Gotrek got some SPP. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and for you now, now we can go and... Um, we can go and, like... Yeah, this is my guy. That's his... Um, we have the Slayer based here. Let's go, like, just support. That's really nice, though, because he's going to be short a player the entire next half. Oh, look at the Roaring Dwarf Rage. That's funny. Yeah, because this is, um, so this guy's got a dislocated shoulder, which, um, oh my god, a lasting penalty of minus one strength. <laughs> oh, that Slayer's basically useless now. That's a, that's a rough one. Even if he wins the game, that's like, that feels bad. Because this is a league. It's a season, so it carries on. Yeah, he's got good blitzes on me, though. He's going to be able to get a blitz, most likely. Gimli's stunned from the previous turn, or I forgot to stand Gimli up. I'm not sure. Stranger things have happened. Dude, yeah, getting SVP on a, on a, on a Troll Slayer is really good. That's, like, super solid. We have him kind of pinned on the end zone here, so if he tries to stand up, that guy's going to move, like, two steps. The dreaded movement for dwarves. So if you look at the stats here, that's the movement. Um, strength, agility. It's like uh, passing value is different now than agility. In the previous game, it was correlated, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, you can see armor values. The, the two dice you need to be essentially uh, tie that value to uh, to get an injury roll, which uh, with dwarves again much harder to injure them. That was pretty. That was pretty fortunate. Had some okay bashing, but yeah, like uh, so he's gonna blitz here, take a one die. Okay, he gets it. Well played. Well played. One die, no rerolls. I too like to live dangerously. Let's see where this ball goes. Just gotta hope it doesn't go into his hands. Okay, um, that's next to Gotrek. And he gets punished, okay. So now we just Helm's deep on the ball. Yeah, he can't reroll that. He's used all his rerolls, so. Gotrek's gonna, gonna be the hero of the old world and just punch him in the face. Um, any chance of scoring here? It'd be pretty, pretty hard. I guess we could pick it up. Let's see. So what do we got here? Um, I have three turns left to score. I think I could score. It would be, it would have to be like a mad dash for sure. So that's one of his guys. Um, we got two dice here. So let's just like start by standing all our players up. It's a, quite an ugly box here. That's for sure. Okay, so Frank Reynolds can knock this guy away. And then um, who's basing us here? Yeah, that's that's a little bit unfortunate. Okay, so Brunor Battlehammer um, needs to get out of the way to let the runner try and grab it. Oh, but he's got a dodge. Who's who's he based with? Oh my god, it's so hard to tell who's who. Oh my god, it's so difficult. Okay, so we got a two die on his runner, but his runner is kind of like trapped right now, and I kind of want to keep it that way. So let's just man, I'm gonna get the ball next half, right? He's gonna be down a player the entire time. Let's just play, let's play some smart Blood Bowl here. Just try and get onto the ball, make sure he can't get it. I mean, he's going to knock me onto it again like he's been doing. Yeah, all right, let's take two die here. That's just one of his runners. And uh, Chuck Norris can get kind of, although we could push his runner away a little bit into Brunor. Okay. The domino effect in and then can we get the runner? We can't. Can we get a two die on him? No, not quite. Okay. Looks like we got to do some more bashing here. Still one die. I think it's worth taking some one die there. Um, all right. Try and knock you down. Take the both down. They both have block. I can't wait to play like a team that doesn't have block. It's nice. fine. A little bit of a duel of fates up there. So we still have the blitz action. Um, this guy is just chilling on the sidelines here. My runner is, where's my runner at? He's, he's, he's like up here, yeah, Thibbledorf is like way up there. How is that, just still a one die? I feel like, uh, yeah, I guess that's, like I, I guess he's, these guys are both marked, so it doesn't um, do as much. We could do the dreaded runner fight. It's two red die there. We got this, we got this. Um, sure, let's start taking some one die, screw it. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna embrace the inner dwarf. And uh, we can blitz into here. 
Oh my god, not knowing what units are what is such a pain. Aha! And we can stay put. I'm gonna have to start taking faster turns. It's a little bit dicey here. Pun completely intended. Oh yeah! Let's go, baby! Oh no! Oh no, he probably doesn't have an APO either. Dude! Gotrek is just hunting souls this game. Oh my god, Gotrek Ernison, dude. Alright, so yeah, there's no scoring happening. I got three guys in the ball. He's got the, the guy in the end zone. It's like, remember when you used to play soccer or football when you were a kid? Depending on where you're from. There's always the one kid who just like sat by the... He, who didn't understand the concept of offsides and would just like sit by the end zone. It's like that guy right there. Yeah. Okay, here he comes. And uh, we got Thorin. Wearing the bloody here. These guys just going to duke it out. Yeah, but him being down two players is going to hurt. So now... now um, what does the head injury do? Okay, so he's got... That's the dislocated shoulder. And this guy has the... Is it lasting? No. He just misses the next um, next match. And he's going to be missing a runner next week. He's going to be pretty beat up. Okay, two die here. I definitely deserve an injury at this point. I deserve at least one. He did take a lot of risky one die, though, earlier. And didn't... Got away with it. So maybe maybe that's Nuffle's way of punishing. Okay, here we go. Armor break. And we got an injury. Nope. Got an eight. Need to get, I think, a ten or eleven. Yeah, 8 or 9, I think, is mitigated for dwarfs. But yeah, 10s or 11s will uh, pretty much get the job done. So we'll just bash a little bit more. If he tries to sand up this guy, we can um, we can blitz back there with the Slayer. Dude, the fact that it's so hard to tell who's who. I mean, thankfully, the circles are there, so you can see, like, the player whose active turn it is. You can see, you know, whose action that is. Hmm. But man, oh man. How's this going to unfold? Him being down two players is massive, though. Like, massive. Especially since it's a runner and a troll Slayer. Those are, like, pretty good quality pieces. When I used to play Dwarves in Blood Bowl 2, they were one of my main ladder teams, and um, I usually just used one runner, just to like, and he would just be like, get all the SPP and was just a raid boss, but I remember he ended up getting killed by a Chaos team with Claws, and uh, that was that was a pretty big bummer. I, uh, my turn has to be really quick now, I'm actually out of my overtime already. Alright, so he knocks me down, well played. Okay, gonna try and, is he gonna make for another desperate play on the ball? I believe we knocked down his runner. Okay, both down. It's fine. Oh, God, it's, uh, dwarves just have so many nice abilities. And they're not even that slow. Like, movement six on your runners is great. I mean, a lot of your base guys are pretty, pretty, you know, um, pretty slow. But, yeah, it's hard to say. Okay, so let's just take some two die. Stand up you guys. Still just that. Still that. Yeah, just kind of exploring all my options here. See if you can knock him away. Take him down. Watch just another injury, dude. That'd be so mean. Okay. I almost want a foul. I should get a dirty player on this team. So this is a six-week season. So um, at some point, I probably will get a dirty player. I think it'd be pretty fun. Okay, so we'll take this because that's going to give us two sets of dice. In case we fail the first one. Oh, we need the Howard Dean. I don't have it queued up on my soundboard right now, unfortunately. Yeah, there's no way we can score, really, so we're just going to kind of keep bashing. Oh, he did, that was his runner. Oh, shit, he didn't have the he didn't have the uh, the, good, the goods there. Okay. Is there any surfing we can do? I don't think so. Um, he can come up here to give us a... Is this one of my dwarves? No, it's all, those are all his dwarves there. So the runner can come and just uh, get near the ball. I could go try and grab it. There's not really any sense, because if I, if I, this is the only way he could potentially score is if I grab it, and it, like, I miss it, and it f flies, like, over here or something. I, d I just don't want to take any chances. So we're just going to chill out and pass. Yeah. We have the whole second half to try and score. We have the whole second half. And that's, that's going to be our game plan. The little dwarf is here. How are we looking? Okay. The Dowie are standing up. We're both on our last turns, essentially, so just going to be doing some bashing here. If, um... You know, if he gives me the opportunity here, I might be able to surf his, surf his runner. Because what I do is I just punch him this way, and then I blitz with Unger Iron Fist. Yeah, he might stand up with this guy, but if he doesn't, then I can I can, I can can freely blitz. I might even just dodge and try and do it. Do it. I think it could work. We'll see. You always got to be looking for surfing plays with the Troll Slayers. Okay, he rushes over, takes the dice. 
Blitz is in, and uh, ooh, nice double pow. Let's hope Gotrek can hold. Gotrek has four SPP. Please don't be injured. Oh god. Anyone but Gotrek. Okay, Gotrek's fine. He'll be back. Uh, that would be the one character I'd be really sad if he got a permanent injury because he's already got four SPP on him, so it's just like, ooh. And as somebody who had a pretty horrific injury in high school football, you know, it always I always cringe when I see it. Okay, so he gets the pushback right there. Nice. This is his last turn. So we, we basically just go for a surf, and hopefully he forgets to stand that gap. Ah, he didn't. Curses. All right, so we're the, the surfing isn't going to be as easy. Oh, yeah, Gotrek stuns. That'll be our last play, though. We'll just we'll just dart across and try and take down Bromber here. This guy's Agi4, not the most agile of folk. Natural sprinters, of course. Okay, how are we looking? Looks like that guy's going to stand up as well. <laughs> it's pretty risky. The 2 GFI. What is he going to do there? I, I'm pretty sure it's his last turn, so... Just risking falling over. For uh, oh oh, I thought he was gonna foul Gotrek. Okay, so this is the last turn before the half. So um, I don't know why I'm even bothering with these guys. It's fine. Take the two die. Knock him. Uh, we can just knock him down. Yeah, we'll just we'll just take the pounce. Right? And then we can get you. We need to, so with Slayers, you want to run like around. Because if you if you run here and I push him away, then I won't get the two die on the second hit. So you want to you want to be um, making sure you're like planning ahead. See how he's getting pushed back now? But now I get another two die. Dude, Slayers are just so good. Yeah, okay. That's one way to, that's one way to end the half. Ungram got, you know, he took on a monster a little bit too big. But we had the ball surrounded and... Uh, all right, so now I get the ball. So he's setting up the defense. And uh, he's going to be missing two players, so his, he'll have nine on the pitch. Which is a pretty big advantage for us. It's going to give us probably a big advantage on the line of scrimmage. Um, he does get his two rerolls back, and the one thing he has, I don't have overtime, so I'm going to have to be kind of quick on my turns. I know I've been kind of ponderous here. So i got to make sure I don't dig into my overtime. Or be cognizant of that at the very least. Ungram, Haggard. Yes. The dreaded tie of ties. Definitely don't want to tie. Um, where's Thibble Dwarf? Okay, Thibble Dwarf is our runner here. Yeah, I like the extra player. I think I think it's good. Although having a second reroll might be stronger, arguably, with dwarves. I feel like that could be the case. Okay, so he's set up there. Yeah, so we're gonna bully the line of scrimmage, get a bunch of two dice, and then just try and grab the ball and keep him from darting down the sidelines too happily. Keep the slayers on the wings. Um, who's here? So this is a Thorin. Yeah, Thorin can chill out. Okay. So let's get Frank Reynolds on the line for some two die, and we can get Gimli on the line for some two die as well. Yep, looks good. Thibble Dwarf um, should be back here. He's our ball carrier. So Slayers we want on the wings. The reason why you put Slayers on the wings is because you, what you do is you kind of bait them into attacking such characters like this, and then you um, and then and so that's alignment here, right? Yeah, it's alignment. Good and Blitzer and Blitzer. All right, outstanding. And then you just try and surf them, basically. And this guy can be, like, reactionary either way. All right. Um, I like that formation. He's going to get some two-on-ones on the outside, but he's only going to get one good dice. Um, hopefully, he moves too close to the sideline and we can surf him out. I don't want to go too close to the sideline myself because he can come down and, and potentially surf me out if I'm not careful. So, um, so yeah. Let's see what kind of uh, kickoff event we get here. Where the ball goes. Hopefully it's not an onside kick of some sort. That actually happened. I was playing a practice game with Zyphos the other night. This kick is crucial. Not bad. Brilliant coaching. Uh, D6 has added the number of assistant coaches. All right. So it looks like it's go time. So first things first, um, let's get Hiking Thorgrim Grudge Bear down there to kind of assist. And uh, you guys can just start taking some two die. So we will do that. Hopefully not get double skulls. Looks good. Outstanding. We'll base the uh, the Slayer here. And you can go ahead and kind of form ranks here a little bit. To maintain the two die structure. Let's do this. Pow. Very nice. Alright, cool. And what is this in the backfield? That's one of his runners. So that's one of his faster characters who does not have um, block. So basing him would be quite nice. All right, so let's start like preemptively setting up a bit of a box. 
So we'll keep the um, we'll keep the Slayer here. Keep you down this way. I could Blitz here, which wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. Get a take down there. And now we get another run at it as well. God, like, after playing a human team, this just is so much better. There's going to be a lot of guys who are going to need to stand up here. So he can get this and then come back this way. Set you up like so. Pull you down here. A little bit of a vulnerability in the open area here. But um, I think we're okay. Yeah, like him coming through the middle isn't too concerning. We just need to make sure he can't like dart past me here. Okay, so it's a three plus pickup and he gets a reroll. So I just need to get a three up on two rolls. And um, who does he have? These guys can kind of get down here, but we can start moving towards the box of doom here. I don't think he can reach me. Yeah, I don't think he can. It's not like we're playing elves or Skaven or something. Skaven have like, with their gutter. I don't know if they still have gutter runners in this one. I'm not sure, but they're super quick. So yeah, they're super quick. All right, that was a speedy turn. That was good. Got a lot of knockdowns. He's going to be standing up. We have several of his key players um, based. The runner is very quick. Got his troll slayer locked down. And now he's going to come out and uh, maybe do a two die blitz here to try and like soften me up. I would actually... Yeah, I would rather he blitz on this side. Because this is the side I want to play. I really like that I have my two troll slayers here and there's going to be a lot of sideline action. So he's going to beat up poor steel chair here. Steel chair never stood a chance. He might push himself into a one die though, which could happen. Um, we could also like push up through the middle. He's very heavily concentrated here. Yeah, okay. He's gonna be taking that side. Oh man, the two GFIs also. Ballsy, ballsy. Okay, that's fine. Oh wait, did that guy have like double a double block value? That was weird. Okay, now he, he yeah just gets that. That's fine. I don't hate the 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 reverse this way. Like he's most of his guys are tied down here. He does have this guy, and I think this is his. No, these are mine. Yeah, so coming in here, I do have a nice little like kind of mini box with Frank Reynolds as well in his runner. That's a that's a good one. This is a good one die to take because I block and he doesn't. So it would just be a skull that would doom me. Wow, he ends up taking it. Okay, yeah. Happy with that. Watch him get like stunned or something too. All right, so this guy can make it pretty far. Is there anybody I need to? This is a surfing opportunity. If I've ever seen one, um, but let's just hang tight on that for now. It's so a one die. So let's set you up like so. We have a lot of time to work with. We certainly do. We can go here. So I think that works. Yeah, that character ended up getting stunned, so that's good. go right up the middle of the fields the blitzer oh god i didn't take into account his movement um any vulnerabilities here i mean everybody is more or less based yeah so let's see if we can knock this guy down if i have to use a reroll to avoid double skull so be it okay looks good now we can pull in here close close the box and yeah we have to make two going forwards here also there eh, we can just come down here do this all right, so the dreaded dwarven box is upon us. Um, I could try. Yeah, he's gonna beat me up over here. He does have a character down there. We have a two die here, but that would open up the box, so I don't like that. Um, I could start like getting ready to surf this guy. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, High King Thorgrim and uh, and Gotcha Gernison can take this guy to Pound Town. Okay, looks good. So he's down for the count. Um, any other one die I want to take? So this is lineman on lineman, lineman on lineman. Not worth the one dies. That's quite tempting. I got a one die here. And do I have any other one die? No. And this, what is this guy? Blocker versus a, um, a dwarf lineman. I don't hate this idea. Because like he's going to get two dice anyway. So I'm just like, let's just, yeah. Like, like he's going to get knocked down, whatever. But it does, I guess, make my opponent. Oh, man. He actually got an armor break there. Oh, and an injury? Oh, it's just a KO. Okay. Yeah, because that's right. Dwarfs with the hard skull can mitigate that. It, like, lowers the uh, the tier of it. Hmm. So we got punished for that. So we're down a player now. He's down two. But I do have an extra player, so if it goes into another possession, I think we're okay. Just keep moving up the field. That was definitely a mistake, of course. But, you know, it, it would have felt good if we had succeeded. Everything in hindsight. 
Okay. Let's see what he's got here. Ooh, the karate chop. We got the box. We have, like, a couple of his guys down. If he tries to stand up this guy, he's off the pitch. So, oh, okay. Wow. Did he dodge? Did he do it going for it? Oh, my God. Look at the going for it's there. That's ballsy. And he rerolled. That's great. Getting one of his rerolls for, like, a relatively insignificant going for it is, is quite good. He might blitz and try and get a one die here. But, yeah, no. This is this is a, a potential pitch surf right here. And Thibble Dwarf is just going to make a mad dash. If you guys don't know who Thibble Dwarf uh, is, he was um, in the Dragonlance books in the Dritz series. He's like a Dwarven Berserker, basically. He's like basically that universe's equivalent of a Slayer, sort of. They wear um, what those dwarves do is they wear these giant suits of armor. So they're kind of the opposite of Slayers in that regard. They're super heavily armored, but their armor is covered with spikes. Like just the entire armor is like a porcupine. And they just like dive into enemy ranks with like spiked armor and just like frenzy. And just like, oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. There's some cool scenes with it. But um, yeah, that's that's who Thibble Dwarf is. I don't know why he's my runner. It doesn't really make sense. Should have been Gimli. Gimli's a natural sprinter. I might actually change the names. Because Gimli, Thibble Dwarf would be more of like, I mean, but Gimli's a frontline fighter too, but Gimli's a natural sprinter, you know the how that goes. So nice power right there. Gimli gets popped. Gimli being a Chad lineman is cool though, too. I don't know, to think about it. If you guys have any suggestions, do let me know. Nice, well played. You got me down. Um he doesn't have a blitz action though, so we should be able to he's gonna get here, but we should be able to blitz him off. Oh no! Who is that? That wasn't that wasn't Gotrek, was it? Oh no! Oh, it was Unger Iron Fist. <laughs> oh, no. We both lost the Troll Slayer. His is basically dead because of the injury, but... Oh, Unger fulfilled his Slayer Oath. Oh, no. I can't believe he killed a guy. What are the odds? It's a good thing I saved some money. I should be able to buy another Troll Slayer. Or we might just be down to one, which really sucks. Which really sucks. Troll Slayers are expensive. They're really pricey, and I don't have an Apothecary yet, so... Um, yeah, no, that's that's pretty unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I deserve that though. You know, two injuries against him. You know, it's it's definitely uh, definitely something we deserve. Good for him though. You know, he he got a little SPP on his blitzer. Um, we have an opportunity to make a dash here, so we just need to push this guy off. We have a easy two die here, so if we push him off, um, then we can move the box up that direction. Okay, we just need to get a push. It's fine. Oh. There we go. Dude, I can't believe he killed the Slayer King. I feel like, uh, do we remake the Slayer King? You know, that's the question. So we have an opportunity here um, to move the box up. He's got one, two, three guys here. We have a couple dudes there. So I could get a two die here. I can move up field, and I have basically two guys with which to screen. So this guy could just make a mad dash that way, which, yeah, he couldn't quite reach. These guys have pretty good movement here, so we just need to like kind of tie them down. Unfortunately, that guy on the ground is, is ready to go also. So let's um, take our runner upfield as far as possible. So they can get one space above this guy. Okay. So if we just like go this way, that's going to be... Um, we just need to firstly base these two guys, I think. Yes. Because these are the guys who can pursue the most. All right, so let's uh, tie them down. I only have 30 seconds left, so I gotta hurry. Oh, yeah, and we're gonna base this guy next. I just gotta make a couple going for it. Oh god, I gotta hurry. Should have done one at a time, but you know what? Time of heroes, baby. Time of heroes. Let's make him make a dodge. Um, you can go over here. And uh, yeah, that talk about like desperate turn finishing stuff. I know how hard it is to score with dwarves. <laughs> so he has to make a dodge and two GFIs, I think, or at least one. With um, and, and it's a one die. So I'm really, really hoping he fails that. I just, I just went for broke there. I just, I'm just like, I feel like I got to take chances. It's hard enough to score. With I can't believe he killed Ungrim though, guys. I can't believe it. It's just wrong. It's so awful. Okay, so he gets a push there. Yeah, there, there you go. All right. He could. What he might do is he might blitz with. No, Bomber can't afford to blitz because he doesn't. He only. Bomber's going to have to. Um, oh, wow. He makes it. And he gets the one die and the going for it. And the knockdown. Are you serious? He got it all. Oh. 
We were so close. Please don't be injured. If there's a if there's a chance he could just pick it up, that'd be great. Okay. Is he gonna try and grab the ball? Oh, that's his runner too. Are we just gonna have a runner fight down here? That'd be really funny, actually. Frank Reynolds um might be able to get down and help too. If I were him, I'd just try and grab the ball. Screw it. He's got a reroll. This is just gonna be the most miserable dwarf match of all time. I think so. So Gotrek. Yeah, thankfully Gotrek is still around. God, I can't believe I can't believe I lost to Slayer. I was not expecting a death. Like an injury, sure. But a death of one of my key players. This is a great start to the season. We have to just be haggard and go in with low team value now. Oh please no. Please please be okay. Come on, Gotrek. Okay, he's just stunned. He'll be fine. Oh god. So that okay, we have an opportunity still to score. Um, he's really far away with most of his guys. He still has a reroll, unfortunately. Is there any way I could have ran like further? No, I made two going for it. I think I, if I had gone straight up, but then these guys would have been able to dodge out and get me, and I think that was better to take it on the runner there. All right, he takes the one die. Oh, wow, he's going to go into another one die. That's risky as hell. Yeah, that's, that's what happens. Definitely not worth reroll in my opinion, but maybe he'll do it. I'd be happy if he did it, and then he wouldn't have it for like other important plays. Because now Haggard can run over here, I think. With the reroll, I should be able to base this guy, and then we blitz and do it and pick up the ball. Wow, he, he took the reroll. Okay, he's out of rerolls for the rest of the game now. And yeah, like we're just gonna stand up and it's whatever. Um, so Frank Reynolds and Chuck Norris. What we do is we punch this guy away and then have him run up and try and secure the ball in the top. We gotta get his runner down. Okay, I'm really happy he's out of rerolls. Okay, um, nothing we need to do here. Um, so this should be a, a one die, sadly. So if we have any good dice here, we do. Okay. Let's do it. Um, yep, let's just push him away. Follow up. Then we can go ahead here, have him do this, and that'll give us uh, the correct dice. And then I think Frank Reynolds can blitz you. Yeah, he can. All right, outstanding. So we would have to stand this guy up first. Hmm. Okay. I just love how reliable all the dwarf units are. They just all have block. It's just like solid, dude. Yeah, solid as hell. Okay, so now we get a one die here or a two die with a reroll, which I, I actually like that. Um, I could blitz him, try and knock him down first, and then grab the ball, which is certainly viable. But that's a one die, which is pretty kind of... pretty. It's precarious because a push won't do a whole lot. I think we just we just try and knock him down. Although, does, is he going to be able to get some reinforcements down there? He'll he'll be close. He'll be certainly close. But grabbing the ball is like a game winning play. So this is yeah, it's, it is a rush. Yeah, I guess what we do is we just base him, and then we blitz with um, Thibble Dwarf, and then grab, try and grab the ball after that. Okay. Uh, do we have any other two die on the battlefield we want to take? Nope. Okay. Okay, the blitz action. Knock him down. Stay put. Grab the ball. Should be pretty doable. And uh, yeah, let's just kind of get into the cut. Ooh, did I just move into range of this guy? Uh, he would have to make two going for it. Yeah, I think it's safer to get the assist from that guy than it is to play it otherwise. All right, so he's got no reroll, so I mean, our odds here are good. We're in t we're in scoring range. I could have made a couple GFIs and go, but now even if he dodges out to blitz me, he's gonna get a um a two red dice unless he can get some assist. Which oh he he might be able to actually he might be able to we'll see. He does get the pal there. This guy is gonna have to make GFIs and he's got no rerolls and he can't reach the ball carrier, but he could reach this guy. He, no, he could reach Frank Reynolds. Yeah, and it would get him a one die. So I think that's probably what he ends up doing. If I were him, I wouldn't take any other blocks until until he um, goes for it. Yeah, good, good man, good, good stuff here. Nice. He passes the GFI. As long as he doesn't injure me, he's got me base, but we should be able to. Oh, okay, we're fine. Okay, now we actually have an option because we can blitz this guy, and if we if we with a reroll can get any um, 
This is his guy here, okay. I'm just gonna leave Gotrek on the ground for now. If he wants to like leave two Slayers to guard him, I'm, I'm happy with that. Because Gotrek could get surfed or injured there. Gotrek is just laying and recovering from his wounds. But our, our chances of scoring here are decent. Okay, yeah. So now we can pop the Slayer up just to base this guy. The match can't end in a draw. Oh, you'd be surprised. Okay, so it looks like everybody else is just kind of sitting on one dies. Um, yeah, so we, we stand you up. We So there's a couple options here, but I think ultimately um, getting the one die blitz out is the best bet. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit haggard, but scoring is scoring. It's so difficult to score with dwarves. Um, so we have a two die there, but this is like the only thing that matters. So we're going to do a blitz activation here. Yeah, there's any number of dice that would be good for us, and uh, not that one, of course. Okay, let's reroll. A push is okay, too. Oh my god, are you serious? Blood Bowl, why? Where's that ball going to go? Oh, Jesus. Now he's going to grab it. It's just going to be one of those kind of games, dude. Oh, no. Oh god, that's so awful. That is so awful. <laughs> oh god. Why? Wait, I stood up Gotrek. What is this? I stood him up. Oh shit. Oh well. Okay, everybody's just kind of tied down with one another. I'm missing two players. He's missing two players. So the pitches are pretty even. Uh, him scoring is not going to be an easy thing. He could though. Like if everything the stars align, he could definitely just dart down the sideline and just own me. I, I mean, I still have dodge attempts to get out, but yeah, he's got to make the pickup. Dude, all we needed was a push. Like a push and then a 3+, plus and we score. Or any any of those other ones. Both down would have been bad too, though, I guess. Okay, he's thinking about it right now. He's He's got a lot of time left in his overtime. Oh, God, Blood Bowl is just suffering. You, it's something you forget. It's something you forget. Well, you know what? At least Gotrek got some SPP. If we can, if we can force that tie now, I'll be pretty happy. Fibble Dwarf tried. He tried. He got pretty close, to be fair. What is my opponent doing? I think he's scheming his, his turn here. Holy shit, is he gonna go for a pass? No way. Wow, he actually took a dodge with no no freaking rerolls? Got away with it? That's crazy, okay. Well played to him, well played. Now let's see what he's got next. Is he gonna do like the hail? The pass would be a very Chad play. I don't know how that would work out. So this Haggard and this is these guys, you know, we have a bunch of line infantry is just kind of battling over here, Gimli as well. Have you tried that? I'm actually really curious what his game plan is. Like these guys passing, dwarves are pretty awful at passing. So I could potentially stand this guy up, get a two die and then base him again. But I think it's going to be the classic dwarf scenario. Okay. So now he's in overtime, which is fine. He's got he's got two minutes left. What's it gonna be, ladies and gentlemen? What's it gonna be? Will the dwarves get there? One of them will, sort of. It's gonna be a classic dwarven match, which is a draw, which I suppose is fine. Is he gonna take? Wow, that's a risky play, but he gets it. He gets away with it. That was a, a that was gonna be a double one die. Could have been a skull, which would have potentially given me a chance to score again. So, is he clearing up the sideline here? Okay. Slayer's coming to form a box, I guess? Not sure. Got a minute 23 left. The pickup attempt will be his last maneuver, I would wager, which is smart. Fibbledorf will be able to blitz if he stays within um, striking distance here. We could also dodge out with... Uh, with no, Oh, that's right. Chuck Norris could knock this guy, and then we could, uh, we could have Brunor Battlehammer blitz him, depending on how this goes. Wow, dude, he's taking some really risky dice here. That's this is really dangerous. It's all good though. Dwarf should get back up. He's gonna get another two die here though. Nice, well played. A handoff? Is that what it's gonna be? Yeah, we're still gonna be able to base him. Okay, maybe not now. Brunor can. Well, yeah, no, we should be able to get a blitz on him at least. And Haggard, Haggard will be able to. Get him as well. Okay. Oh, yeah. He got punished there. Fortune favors the bold. It worked out for him so far, though. Oh, my God. He died. Oh, no, dude. Oh, my God. The humanity. 
Jeez. Okay, we still have a chance to score. It's very slim. Very slim. Like, is this something I worry about here? I think so. Can we get under him? No, it's a two plus rush. Okay. I think we gotta respect the Haggard Hail Mary. You know? Okay. So this guy can, like we can base him here. Let's go ahead and take this. It's a pretty safe two die. Then we have our blitz move. Okay, oh my god, what if we killed another dwarf? <laughs> okay, that's a start, but we only have three turns left, so scoring is uh, looking pretty bleak here. Frank Reynolds can come remove the assist. So the dwarf lineman will come. That's only one, two, plus two going for it here. This is obviously a little bit ugly. I could get the two die, but like, dude, if I fail that, I'm going to be so sad. Let's just um, let's do this first. So at least we have that. Uh, that's his runner who does not have block. So my odds are actually decent here. Wow, that's a, that's a going for it also, huh? Oh my god, okay. I don't know why it keeps like taking us at that angle. Is that like the most direct approach? Yeah, no, it still has a going for it. Okay, anything I want to do down here? No, no, everything looks fine. Stand you up. Let's just play it really safe. All right, come on, man, please. Give it to me, precious. Oh my god, I hate this game. But I also am having fun. <laughs> oh, and he gets stunned. I'm really happy I stand. I stood everyone else up, though. Like, that's good. He, I don't think can, can, I don't think he can score. He'd have to make a lot of going forwards and a lot of weird Hail Marys. I guess it's not impossible. Our runner's nearby, but our chances of scoring are basically... Oh my god, I thought he was going to dodge again. I was like, just take some wild-ass dice here. Let's see what he gets. Okay, he's got some two dice here. He's got a two die here and a two die here. So, not a bad idea to get a little bit of bashing in there. I can't believe he had another guy die. This is uh, this is just brutal. This is so brutal. God, I can't believe he failed the going for it. At least, at least have the dignity to let us roll the dice and get a skull, you know? It has to just give us the dreaded fail. Okay, so I have two turns left to score, which I suppose is possible. I mean, if I can get the ball next turn... If he screws something up here, I don't know what he would have to screw up, but it'd have to be pretty substantial. So he's thinking, he's doing the big thinking right now. Though we seem to be having a dull moment, says Jim. Okay, that's fine. Wow, dude, he's taking the one die. Oh, man. Like the, and taking one die, of course, is necessary, but like in, the relatively inconsequential ones. That's, that's dangerous. Okay. Because like with dwarves, you could just leave them tied up with one another. Two die are definitely worth taking, though. Um, um, Gotra could try and push Grom out. Although, yeah, I would have to, like, dodge out and come around, which is, is probably not great. You have to be careful with Slayers, too, because they can force themselves into the uh, going for it. Oh, my God. I can't believe he's taking all these one die. It's giving me anxiety. Second hand. Please just don't injure Gotrek. Gotrek only is AV9. The, the Dwarven Slayers are they're armored. I mean, they're tough, but they're not, like, you know, AV10 tough. All right, so we're chilling there on the sideline, and uh, we do have Haggard up, so, we, like, maybe he goes up the middle. If I were him, maybe, like, right here, and just, like, kind of base up with these guys and just hope you get the assists and survive. So now he's in his overtime. He's got 32 seconds left. I haven't used overtime in a while. We used it in the beginning for the calculated plays, but... Yeah, makes a little dash for it. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. He made both those. Okay, so we're going to get a blitz on him here, 100%, though. Gimli's here. Um, he's going to have to make a bunch of GFIs, though. He's going to have to make a bunch of those. Slayer's here. Uh, waiting for the result of a block test. He gets a push. So Thoric is going to get pushed away. We're probably going to want to dodge away with this guy and like try and come downfield. So he's got, what, two turns left to score? So he'd have to make... Um, just one set of GFIs, actually. Ooh, that's kind of scary. Chuck Norris. Um, Chuck Norris probably just hustles downfield. We, we probably do all that stuff, like, once we're a little bit more desperate here. Okay. So let's just pursue. 
Pursue and pursue and leave the Slayer there. Um, I could also blitz you, but that's stupid. I think we just stand Gotrek up for now and just hope he can be useful the next turn. And we just got to not fail the, um, the dice here. Dice for the dice gods. It's a runner versus a blitzer. Um, the blitzer, is that alignment? Oh, it's alignment, unfortunately, so he's really slow. That's why I'm having to take all these going courts. Okay, so let's uh, have you go down here, buddy. Prepare for the worst. And, uh, yeah, man. This is it. Let's see if we can get past the GFIs. Please. Okay, I'll take that. At least he's based now. Let's base him into contact with old Gimli here. So now we got him here. He's going to have to make some dodges. Okay, and this guy can go kind of over here. Yeah, coming across here. Oh, he could do a handoff action, actually. Could he do a handoff action? So this guy's got... No, because he wouldn't be able to... He'd have to go, like, down this way and then down and around. So, okay. So if we can just, like, escape out into the open. Or I could try and knock this guy down. But also keeping him, like, tied down is kind of nice. Hmm. This is this is some scary stuff here, guys. So the blitz failed. Um, this is doesn't really matter up here, so let's just take a little fight and see if we can get lucky. Okay, not quite. And he's still okay, yeah, we'll keep the base down. Oh my god, this is so shady, dude. This is so shady. Um, he's really his character is a lot faster, but we do have the Gotrek blitz, the Gotrek dodge blitz, to try and stop him in the fourth quarter. Dude, I can't believe we've had so many people just get, like, a death and, like, whoever wins this, no, like, nobody's coming out of this game unscathed. He definitely got the worst receiving end, a permanent injury and a death. Like, he's going to have loners next week, which is tough. Okay, so he's blitzing with the one die. Okay, it's fine. He's still going to have to make a dodge, most likely, because I'm going to stay in contact with him. There's not really any good pushes there. Yeah, he's just going to have to roll with it. Keeps rolling, rolling, rolling. So he dodges out this way and comes down, and then does he make the GFIs? Probably not, if you just get an open field and... Wow, the one dies, dude. I can't believe it. Okay. So now he just has to make one dodge move. Or he could blitz. That's probably... No, it would still be a one die on the blitz because of the assist. So he's got to make a three up. Oh my god, and he makes it. If he scores here, I'm going to be so sad. All right, so what we do is we um, push this guy back and we just blitz with Chuck Norris and just hope hope and pray to Nuffle. That's what we got to do, man. That's it. Because, yeah, this is, this is our play right here. Just push this guy back somehow. Um, blitz here. Ungram, you know, I could... Dodging with him is too risky. A three up is really, really bad. That's a good choice for this. Okay, he's going to push, but he, he won't push me out of bounds. It'll just push me down. Yeah. Pushing me closer to the ball. If the blitz fails, um, I would then dodge out with Ungram. I would like dodge and try and base him and force him into another three up situation. Oh my god, please. Please, for the love of the dark gods, give it to us. Wow, taking the one die. Very shady. Okay. So his turn's about to end and he's out of time, so this is it. Time of heroes, man. Um, Alright, so which player? They're both linemen, so. It doesn't really matter. Um, all right, so let's just base up you. It's the last turn. So not too much matters here. Um, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. You know, I think I think we send Gimli, son of Gloin. Oh, too easy. Too easy. Okay. Son of Gloin is going to go for it, and uh, that's it. We just need one of the blessing, blessed one dies. And we have three chances to get him down here. Yeah, that's one of them. All right. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, poor bastard! Oh my god, he lost a runner! A permanent injured slayer! Holy shit, I actually feel bad for him, dude. That's really, really unfortunate. <laughs> oh my god. Um, all right, so he's got one turn left after this. We can take that. Uh, let's bring you down here. And then we can get some one die and try and, like, surf this guy out or something. Dude, his team is going to be so haggard in the next couple weeks. 
Um, I think we can surf him out like this. Or you just take the two die and chill. Yeah. We've done enough, dude. <laughs> Look at this poor guy. Oh my god, dude. That's so unfortunate. That's really unlucky for him. Like, really unlucky. I mean, we lost one guy, but it could have been way worse. Um, I don't think there's any way he can score, so n n neither can I. I guess I could have... No, no, it's just not possible. We're, we're not the elves. We can't do any, like, big... Our passing skill is five on this guy. Our runner is nowhere to be seen. It's just, it's just, it's clobber in time. Hey, you know, on the bright side, guys, we didn't lose. We almost scored, too. We almost scored. That was good. But, um, we didn't lose, and we got a ton of SPP. Like, we, we got two kills and, uh, and two injuries. So that's, that's what, eight SPP amongst our players, which, I don't know, depending on who gets the MVP, we might be able to get some, uh, new abilities. That's, that's one way to go, quietly into the night. All right. Uh, yeah, what's going on here? Is it... Oh, wait, there's overtime? Oh. Shit, I forgot that this league has no no ties. Oh, my God. Well, okay. I'm down. Let's keep playing. I, it's my own league. I'm just like, I don't even know. I'm like, oh, what the hell's happening here? All right, I actually like this positioning. Although... Yeah, we should have you, like... Only one Troll Slayer is sad, for sure. Blitzer should be on the outside here. Dude. I, uh... Yeah, he, his team is gonna be tiny. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm so happy there's overtime. Ties are always like so disappointing. All right, this is true Blood Bowl. Just bash and kill until the end, until there's nothing left. I forgot that it was a no tie league, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, hopefully you want some more, uh, some more action here. Dude, poor bastard, one, two, three, four. He's got six dudes on the pitch. Three of them are gonna be getting mangled on the line. He has no runner. His runners. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Oh my god, and uh, I put poor Ungram is over here all dead, but yeah, no, this is this is next level here <laughs> we're, just, <laughs> we're just gonna see like after it's over. It's just like so it's gonna be like Chris is dropped from the league All right, let's move here uh, Under scrutiny for every player who commits a foul is automatically sent off. Okay. Well, this doesn't matter No rerolls We're just gonna keep going dude we got a fresh set of uh and there's no there's no like extra turn time reaction now either. Okay, a nice bash there. Despite being outnumbered, he's still bashing well. We have so many more players on the pitch though, dude. He got blood bold pretty hard. Like I got blood bold on my offensive dice, like trying to score, but he got blood bold with his players, which is worse. So I I, I would say I was luckier in this game. For sure. Nuffle Nuffle punishes, man. Nuffle punishes. The true Dowie will have to have to rule here. All right, so blitz action. Wow, a blitz one die? That's risky as hell. I guess he doesn't have too much else going. So yeah, he's just gonna use the Slayer with five movement to try and carry the ball. I should be able to get on him pretty quick. Um, I'll probably blitz around on this guy, push him back, go downfield with Brunor Battlehammer. Um, try and get my runner going around the flanks as well, do some you know line bashing and uh, yeah, we'll stand up steel chair. Hey. Oh, I thought he got it. I was going to be like, hey, look at that. That's nice. All right. So stand up, seal chair. You're going down here, buddy. And uh, let's go ahead and get you over the top. Like so, and get some good dice here. Well, shouldn't that be a two die? Oh, I just totally screwed that up. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, cool. So now we'll stand you up. You around the side. That actually isn't a terrible idea. Although, yeah, so it'll push him here and that will uh, give me another potential two dice. I don't hate this idea. I don't have a reroll, but you know, with block, it's somewhat safety. Yeah, that could have been ugly. 
Okay. Let's try and knock down some more dudes. That should give us a two die on the other side. Yep. Now we get that two die. Do we have any more good dice here? We do. Outstanding. Alright, knock him down. Follow up. Take advantage of our numbers. Send Frank Reynolds. Let's go give him the rum ham in the backfield. And uh, do we have any more good dice here? I know we have a two die there. Alright, let's do that. Knock him down. And follow up. Send the runner around the outside. And um, is there any like weird weirdness he could do here? I don't think so. Um, Thorgrim can just go base on the line for now and hopefully get us uh, some more two die action. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect. So knock him down and then push this guy a little bit further up there. Uh, let's stay put to keep this guy based. Get up get off the field. All right, and, and turn. So yeah, most of the team is down on the ground here. And uh, all right, well it's good to know. I'm glad. I'm glad we remembered that it was uh, an overtime game there. This is going to be like the bloodiest dwarven battle in all of history. This 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 battle itself is just one big grudge match. One thing we can all agree on is never trust an elf. That's why I played dwarves specifically so I could use the tackle ability on elves, and they can't use their dodge skill. Okay, he's going for it. Hey, look at that. He's actually got it. Where's he going to go now? Dude, what if this Slayer just... <laughs> Is he just going to run? <laughs> oh my god. What if he like managed to score somehow? Just some crazy ass shit. That would actually be really funny. If my greed and my, my arrogance led to my downfall and Norin just managed to get all the way down here. Okay. Yeah, probably not. We should be able to get him here. So it's a blitzer, and that's a lineman. Okay, so let's get the lineman basing. First things first, focus on the important stuff. Um, let's get you over the top. Nope, we don't want to go that far. That should be fine. Pull this slayer down here to make sure he doesn't squeak past me. And outstanding. Yeah, go for the blitz now. No, we should be able to knock him into the front of Frank Reynolds here. Double pow. Perfect. Follow up. Dude, what if we just like got this other Slayer? That would be the most brutal shit ever. Okay, so we can get a two die here and then run this Blitzer around. So we bash this guy and then we pull this guy around to get up on, on the ball. I think he should be able to get pretty close with some going forwards. We'll take any additional um, two die bashes in the meantime. Okay, let's do that. I should have probably gone the other way, but it's fine. Um, okay. Okay, so let's get you up around here so we can get a two dice next turn. Have you stay on this. And uh, is there any good dice here? We do have another two die. See, any other team, like that just, that just goes horribly for you, right? But the dreaded dwarves, man, I'm telling you, they're so good. I think uh, they weren't the most common team in the league, but they were certainly up there. They were pretty popular. I think the most common was Dark Elves. Dark Elves seem very strong. Okay, so let's just get on the ball. I think it's worth it. Like, if he falls, he falls. If he dies, he dies. Hopefully he makes it. Come on, buddy. Uh, all right. And the runner should be able to grab it next turn. The boys will feast. Okay, how are we looking here, guys? It's getting real, real scary here. Okay, so he's going to stand up. Dude, I can't believe he had a runner die. Alignment, alignment is, is more replaceable, but dwarves are still expensive. A troll slayer with a permanent injury putting him down to strength two. Dude, that is so unlucky, man. That is so unlucky. Okay, so he, he pows us back there. Nice shot. Or pushes us. So next turn, yeah, he's, is he going to just like dodge out? I think it's like desperation mode. He's just like, screw it, man. Just just put me out of my misery here. Let's see. Yeah, most of the guys are on the ground. <laughs> hey, having that extra player ended up mattering. We were able to uh, fill a full uh, pitch here. I hope we get enough money to buy... Um, Another Troll Slayer. We're probably going to have to go a week without one. It's just going to be the Gotrek show. Both down. It's fine. So the Blitzers do not have tackle, but they have more movement. 
and they also have better agi as well as passing ability okay nice um yeah it doesn't matter which one i suppose he took the double red die against us and, and got us down okay so the player's gonna push should be able to stand up here gotrex coming around the bend okay so stand you up and uh now we can try and push the slayer away yeah we push the slayer away first everybody else's base the runner is, is good to go um all right so we push the slayer up here and we get two shots at him basically yeah that should do it all right cool down he goes and we can form a bit of a defensive box here Do this. Go here. Grab the runner. We have enough extra players that if the ball bounces, at least it'll probably still be in our zone. All right. So next turn, we can probably score. Um, any two die we want to take here? I don't think so. Everybody's just pretty much one-to-one -one based here. We can get Gotrek. Um, Gotrek can go up here and support. I could have gotten a two die here, but I think it's, it's better just to get him up here to support the ball runner. Oh my god, this has been a, just a brutal match, dude. Absolutely brutal. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this one. Just the dreaded one die blitz. Just, ah. So if you get a boat down, it stops the momentum of the blitz, uh, the, of the frenzy. So the frenzy won't continue. This ability right here. Boat downs on both sides. He's trying to push me out of bounds, it looks like. He's just taking whatever dice he can get now. Um, I'm not going to risk the, um, the going for it. Because the ball could literally just like fly out of bounds and then launch downfield and I don't score. So we're going to we're gonna just bash and, and move up slowly and try and play it smart. Try and play it smart. All right. What does he got? More push dice. Yeah, there he goes. He going to follow up. Looks like he is. Dude, I can't believe all the just massacres we've had this game. This is just, this is just uncanny. All right. Both down. Classic dwarf match. I can't believe all the deaths, too. We were, like, talking about in the beginning how dwarves, like, never die in these games, and then suddenly it's just, like, karate chops just all over the place. Okay. So, we can go, like, here. Yeah, that should be good. I don't think he can reach anywhere, like, up there. So, we just go, like, right on the end zone. Can this guy get up there? No, he can't. Okay. And the Slayer, can he go over there either? I mean, he could with some going forwards, but... We will uh, make sure to uh, protect. Yeah, I don't think this guy can make it. So we are just going to go ahead and do this. We could also butter this guy up for um, for a Gotrek rush out of bounds. Which I actually don't hate that idea. Yeah, that could be kind of fun. All right. Stand you up. Um, and now we can do a Gotrek rush to push him away. And next turn we might be able to get him out of bounds. Yeah, it's a little bit of a rush there, but... Let's grab this blitzer and uh, head this way. We're not going to need him here. And uh, we could start. Uh, I think we could actually, if we get a push now, we could actually potentially surf him. Oh, Pow will do. Okay, let's move Gotrek up here. I legit think there's nobody who can get on the ball. Uh, as far as other fights go, let's go ahead and get on the top. And uh, enter. I'm pretty sure it's sudden death, so if I just score, then... Then we're we're good, but I could also just bash him. I'll just bash him for a couple turns until um until there's like a threat of him getting the ball. Yes, yeah, so we're just Thibble Dwarf is just gonna hang out down here. I'm not gonna be blood bold again. Not today, dude. Not today. Dude, that's a really unfortunate one. The dislocated shoulder. This is what happens when one carries the full weight of <laughs> one's outcome on one's shoulders. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, so his, his strength will go down to two in the next game. We take a look at the SPP afterwards. I know Gotrek is pretty jacked for us. He's got four SPP. If he if Gotrek gets um, I don't even know what I would get on him. I could get like mighty blow, just make him like a beatdown guy. That would be that would be very fitting of a Slayer. But dodge, nah, dodge, nah, dodge actually also makes him very stalwart. Because when people try and knock him down, then you know he's he's gonna he's gonna be able to kind of handle that. I don't really know though. I haven't looked into the new skills in Blood Bowl, so I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of check that out and see what we got. No, it's his turn, right? 
Yeah, it's his turn. Okay. So we'll see what he's going to do here. Um, looking around. I see our teams versus blue in line going back. He, 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 I have a message from him. I just minimize and it says rest in peace. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Just watch the game like glitch out and crash and then this game doesn't count. We have to play it again. That would be that would probably be like actual hell. Okay, looks like he's taking some one die. Okay, he's taking the one dice here. Looks like pushers are coming in. And it looks like that is gonna be going down as well. Oh! Okay, just an armor break. Nothing too serious for Bruno Bruno Battlehammer. You know, we could just score. I, I'm pretty sure it's sudden death. I think it's just whoever whoever scores. So we will uh, we will just run in and uh, and do it. All right. So we got it. Oh no! Shit. Okay. No, it's not the case. Well, we're learning today. So now he'll field this team again, but you know. We might even have an opportunity to score again. So I suppose in a way it's worth it. Um, position my players. Looks good. Yeah, I like that. And, and turn. I should have put my guys on the outside so I could just swarm around easier. So my, my deployment wasn't the best here. Yeah, so it actually I think is not a bad idea that we did that. Because there's a chance that we could get really greedy and score again. If he fails, we could get even more SPP. And uh, right now we got Thibbledorf. He got some SPP. Um, Ungrim is still dead. <laughs> Nothing has changed there. So it's just an overtime um, section of the game. Okay, understood. So now we know. For anybody in the league watching, you're uh, hopefully you're learning from my haggardness here. Hey, that's a great spot for the ball if I've, if I've seen one. So now we can, we can actually get like our blitzers on that. It's I believe it'll be a four plus pickup or a three plus. I'm not sure, something, something in that ballpark. He's got five players left. Um, I have a full pitch as of now. So you're just going to go straight for it with the Slayer. Just go for the Chad play. The runner can't quite make it to the ball, but we would have two turns. So we, or three turns. So we move him and then two turns after that with the sure hands. Yeah, we'll have to see what happens. We'll have to see what happens, my friends. Okay, so he's scheming right now. A lot of guys going down here. You see Norin, the drowned of Karakavarn. He sits at the ready. So you're going to grab the ball. He's eyeing it. My opponent's thinking about it. I'm looking forward to the I think he can get one two die here. I'm not sure. Maybe at least some one dies in the middle. Depending on what he's looking to do. Should have put my blitzers on the wings. Do I still have all my blitzers? I think I accidentally put one on the line. Nope. It's all linemen. No, nope, Both blitzers are on the outside. Okay. They're, they're in their, their correct spots. Gotcha with the four SPP. The Mighty Slayer. He doesn't mess around. Okay. He's just going for it. What a Chad. That's a, that's a tough one. That's definitely a tough one there. All right. So let's get you. Um, and then we can get you to blitz. Although that is a going for it. Shit, I should have just blitzed with the lineman. Okay. No problem, guys. No problem. Um, let's pull you around the top. To get some two die on these guys. And start um, bashing a little bit. Yeah, it is a two plus going for it. But then we can actually grab the ball with the runner. Depending on how this goes. Let's pull you around the top to make sure he's... Oh! Shit! I did not mean to click that. Please don't fall. Oh, God. Okay. Shady business, man. Okay, we made that. Let's go ahead and knock him down. <laughs> I was just, like, waiting for the injury or death screen again. I was like, it's going to happen. Uh-huh. So we just go here. We do stun the Slayer, too, which is pretty brutal. So let's um let's try and just karate chop his pitch right now. We can pull Gotrek in. Gotrek can come and provide some uh, provide some armor to these fights. All right. Well, not armor, but dice it should give us the. I thought that would have given us the two dice there. Okay, I need to learn how the blood bowl systems work because th th this is unacceptable. Um, we could follow up here. Yeah, let's see if we can break these guys a little bit. All right, nice. Follow up. Yeah, now we should start getting just like piling it, piling down two dice down the line. We need to follow up with him. 
Okay, we can get a two die here, but it's going to push him closer to the ball potentially. Um, yeah, I think it's just worth making him take all these like haggard red die and stuff. Do you really not have any anywhere here? Yeah, I guess we could just do some stupid shit. Let's just get injured, yeah? Okay, or, or just get one die pow and call it a day. <laughs> I'll take it, I guess. All right, let's see. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get used to the marking system again. It's been a long time since I played. So we got two turns to get the ball here uh, and score, which would be great. More SPP would be very welcome. I wonder if he's gonna dodge out. We got High King Thorgrim here chilling. Not too many customization options, sadly. Um, but over time, I'll customize the team. I, I believe that, um, oh, oh no, okay. Over time, they, um, not over time, but uh, the company who obviously made this game. Yeah, there's a skull right there, that's what we need. They gave us like some free aesthetic rewards as like a apology for how terrible the launch was. So yeah, I might be able to get some customizations. All right, so uh, who do I need to stand up? Nobody basically, okay. Okay, so let's get you around the top here. The Slayer is quite literally the only guy who could like do anything here. So we got him like fully surrounded now. Let's get you on this, pinning these guys in so there can't be any pursuit. And now we just grab the ball. It's the only thing that really matters. Oh, he failed twice? Oh, he got it the second time. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna score next turn, which is pretty awesome. And now we can just do a little bit of bashing. We could actually could have surfed that guy almost all the way out of bounds. Uh, let's follow up. Okay. Looks good. Push this guy into the Shadow Realm here. Push them away from the ball. Try any last minute SPP farming. Yeah, and uh, we'll call it from there. I could foul, but there's the fouling thing right now where he would get sent off. The Slayer, the Slayer would have to like dodge Blitz, do a lot to get out of this, and uh, we should be able to get more SPP on Thibbledorf. Takes the die here. At this point, he doesn't have too many choices. He just got to take whatever he can get. Try and get some lucky SPP, but yeah, he definitely um, got really unlucky with his players dying. <laughs> we both lost, both of us losing a Troll Slayer is, is really painful, man. That's going to hurt going into next week. They're such a, a key player. All right, let's not mess around. Let's score. All right, we did it. Yes. Oh my God. Satisfy the grudge. They've wronged us. Oh no. Poor guy. He got his SPP on his injured dude with two strap. Oh, that's so bad. That's so unlucky, dude. And I have 85,000 in the treasury now. Dude, that is probably some of the most unlucky shit I've ever seen. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we, we got some goodies here. So uh, looking at SPP, let's see what it looks like. So we got, yeah, he got four on, <laughs> at least he got some on a blitzer, but um, dude, Frank Reynolds got six, like we got six, 12. Dude, that, our team is on the way to getting, getting jacked. All right, guys, so that's week one. You can see all the matches are being played right here. A little bit of a breakdown. Um, yeah, still some games being played, but week one of the Haggard League continues. We'll have our Super Bowl after the last week, so off to a good start. A um, couple handful of folks haven't played yet, but I'm sure they'll be getting to their games in the next few days, and uh, we'll start the next round when we can. So now uh, I will do some updates before the next game starts. I'll, I'll give you guys like a summary of what I decide to update and whatnot. But um, anyways, guys, thank you for joining. If you want to see more of this hot action, do let me know. And uh, yeah, it seems like the servers are stable enough to play now, which is good. All right, guys, take care. See you next time. That's it.